In this video, we're going to take a look at how to create the artwork that's going to be used to create the design on our skateboard. Notice that I've got both of my objects on the desktop. The first thing I'm going to need to do is I'm going to actually need to edit the photograph. I do this by selecting the photograph, right click on it, go to Edit Bitmap. What Edit Bitmap does, it actually opens up PhotoPaint and allows me to do my make my changes in photo paint and then I'm going to save them back to Corel Draw. I'm going to go to adjust. I'm going to use a tonal curve today. I've got a lot of dark parts of the image here and I want to just touch those and not touch anything else in terms of the lighter tones in the image. I'm going to turn my preview on. I'm going to right click out. I'm going to set a point on the dark areas and I'm going to set a point somewhere up around the white areas. And I'm going to create a tone. I'm going to bring this up and notice how it's starting to just lighten up the actual darker tones but it's leaving the light tones by themselves. Bring that up a little bit more. I'm going to say OK. There's my image. Notice now we get a little bit more detail on the far left here. And the only thing I need to do now is I need to come into image. I'm going to, the next thing I need to do is go to adjust. The next thing I need to do is go to Effects, Sharpen, Unsharp Mask. Because this is going to go on wood, I'm going to do a fairly high percentage. And I'm going to keep my radius uh, probably somewhere around 9. Let's push this rate to 500. Say OK. There's my image. My next step then, because I'm going to do it on wood, I'm going to go to Image, Convert to Black and White. Just asking me if I want to merge them down, which I'm going to say no. I want to go to use a Stucky method. Go around and see, basically, I'm just getting rid of some of these lighter grayscale shades that are in the image. Say OK. My image is processed. I'm going to go File, Save. And by going Save, it actually transfers the image back to my Corel, and back into the image that's in Corel Draw. Now notice here that I've created a page size of 16 inches by 8.25 inches. My skateboard, the area I'm going to be working with, is actually 14 by 8. But I can have a little bit of overlap so that my image goes underneath the wheels and I can bring my image right to the edge of the skateboard. So I'm going to bring this. Easiest thing to do is to press P. I want to scale this up a little bit so that it fills up the page. And then all I need to do then is bring Why So Serious in. Let's move it over a little bit. And then we're going to take the 360 logo, snap it down to the corner. And there I have my image ready to go, sent to the laser machine. So what I've done now is I've laid out my, my image on top of the 16 by 8.25 inch page size. Notice how my image actually hangs over the edge a little bit. I want to do this because I'm actually going to, my image is actually going to engrave past the physical size of the skateboard. This way my image is pushed right to the edge of the skateboard. The last thing that I want to do is maybe be off maybe a sixteenth of an inch or something because of the, the way the artwork's laid out and I may just miss the edge. So normally when we're going edge to edge we want to hang over the the image a little bit beyond the the size of the piece that we're engraving on. Notice here again I've gone down a little bit down here the bottom here's the edge of the page so you can see I'm sticking down the edge a little bit off the edge. Here same thing. There's the edge of my page so I'm off the edge a little bit. 